Hello everybody, welcome to another part in the Remake Indoors series. Today what we're going to be adding into our game is adding the new items that we have into our Jeff's shop. Sorry if I uh, sound a little bit weird, I'm sick right now, but uh, let's get right into the tutorial. So, first things we're going to need to do, we're going to need to take Jeff's shop out of our replicate storage and put it into workspace. And we have the lighter here already, but we need to insert the other things we have. So to do this, we're going to duplicate the handle inside of the tool, put it into workspace. And then what we're going to do, we could just position it however you would like. Take this. And let's see what we had in here. So in here we had, let's go ahead and uh, group, well actually we don't need to group this, but actually no, yeah, let's group it. So we'll group it, we'll take all of this stuff, put it in there, anchor all of it, and we will throw it inside of purchaseables, and we will name it vitamins. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to go inside of our lighter. We have a prompt attachment, we're going to duplicate that, put it right here, and um, that should be good with that one. So then next one we have is the crucifix, so let's get the crucifix model. Again, position it however you would like on the table. We're just going to group it, anchor it, name it crucifix, and we will put it inside of purchasables, and we will take that prompt attachment, put it inside of handle. So um, now what we need to do is we need to uh, make all of the tool purchase information in here. So tool purchase information, we'll duplicate the lighter one. We'll rename this to vitamins and we could just make it whatever we want. So we can make it like 15 crucifix. We'll duplicate and this one we can make, I don't know, cost like 30 or something, whatever, whatever you guys want the cost to be, you can make it. And another thing we're going to take both these tools. Oops and put it inside of the tools folder that we have inside of replicated storage. So let's go ahead and see if this is now working. We'll put it back in there and we'll make the Jeff's room generate on like, I don't even know. Let's see here. We'll make it, gen we'll make it generate on like room like one. If I equal equals, actually, we'll make it generate on two. So we'll do that. <clears throat> so we can uh, test it out. So room zero, there's a lock. And okay, so let's see if now all of them, yep, and just like that, now we have all of these. Uh, with prompts on them, so lighter 10 coins, vitamins 15 coins, crucifix 30 coins, and they all are updated. Let's see if we can purchase them. So, to do this, we'll just go to uh, current client, we'll give ourselves um, like 100 coins, we'll purchase the crucifix, we get subtracted 30, and we, are not, we now have the crucifix, purchase the vitamins, get subtracted 15, we have vitamins, lighter. And that is how, uh, and you can't repurchase them because we set it up so that you can't um, purchase them over and over again once you have them. So that is how you, oh, let's see, so we purchase, we use the vitamins and we can buy them again. So that is how you um, set up the items inside of Jeff's shop with like multiple items. This will be linked in the description. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for a future tutorial, I've seen a lot of people saying rush randomization, like randomize what room rush comes on. That will definitely be coming. 
in a future episode um and yeah i've been seeing a lot of stuff like ambush definitely gonna make ambush um and yeah i just wanted to make this quick little episode because i'm sick and i can't really don't really want to make a long episode so that's how you set up items in your shop um and if you enjoy the tutorial please like uh subscribe to the channel we're trying to hit 200 subs we're actually kind of you know pretty close to it so subscribe if you enjoy the tutorial and as always i will see you guys in the next one